Now to everybody listening, I'm saying hello For those that don't know me, well here we go, I'm Philly a rapper straight out of Mill City By the end of this track, I know you're all gonna feel me I spit real flows, it really comes from the heart Bringing the strong so you get taken in from the start Now haters make smart remarks, but I'm getting money So I just treat them like clowns cause they real so funny <laughs> Yeah, I've always liked hip hop since I was about five years old. That's the first time I heard a song from uh, Naughty by Nature called Hip Hop Ray. From that day, I just started listening to hip hop a lot more and yeah, I just always had a love for it, I guess. Yeah, a lot of my music is a uh, very motivational type of music, so I always um, have fun with a lot of my tracks. But I never really took hip hop that serious until about, I was about 15, 16, I think. And then we got a new teacher in, he was this big African American dude. So um, he knew a lot about hip hop and he kind of mentored me with a lot of it. And us boys would just bought really cheap microphones, they're like karaoke microphones or whatever, and recorded with them. So the quality was just horrible. But we had a lot of fun with that. Like, um, we just used to go into the bungalow like every day and record music. Everybody in Majuro, you know, supports me 100%. I've got so much fans here and all the kids look up to me and stuff. So. And yeah, I like um, inspiring people and I've had an impact on a lot of people's, like a lot of kids. They want to do uh, rap and get into hip hop. Silly, like VIC, the prince of the MIL, the VIP, that do me had the same sway, but he not me. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this for seven years now, seven plus years. So it's, it's been a long road, but you know, it's finally like stuff is finally happen from, happening for me and yeah, I'll just tell any kid to just keep at it and don't quit if you're not getting anywhere, like in a short time, it just takes time, so, yeah. I was born in New South Wales, uh, now we're in New South Wales. Um, my mum was, you know, she, she was a single mother at the time, like my dad ran out on her and stuff. So um, she had her own troubles and stuff and there was me and my brother and my sister and she was going through hard times and she couldn't look after us and stuff. And then um, docs or welfare was going to take us off her. So she ran away with us to Madura. It just got too difficult for her. So she gave um, my Aunty Bev a call. So um, yeah, we was uh, taken by welfare and placed in Aunty Bev's care. Uh, she's looked after over about a thousand kids. And um, so me and my sister were her last kids that she had. Like, look after and stuff. I respect her for everything that she's done for me and all the stuff that she's done in this community and yeah, uh, she plays a big part like in Madura, so. After I finished primary school, I had a choice to go to Irimbo or Chafee and it came to the time when school was meant to start and I still didn't know which school I wanted to go to. So last minute decision, I just went to um, Code school or two rivers as it's known now. So that was that was interesting. It was uh, code stood for Corey Open Door Education. So it was basically all just Aboriginal students. It was never a big school. There was about forty students when I was going there, and there's less now. So I'm a brother. yeah, that that school, I think, uh, is the reason why I am who I am today as well. It's like code school. I don't know it's just. It's just like one big family, like all the teachers get along with the students. Uh, they're not just like teachers, they're more like friends to them. So we call them by their first name and yeah, they just were always fun and supportive of everyone's dreams and aspirations and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm thankful I went there. I think the students um, certainly do see Phil as a role model. He's young, he's um, popular because he does perform and does music and he's on Facebook and he's out there and they see him all the time um, and often the kids who are disengaged from school that there isn't um, a great deal that they see that's positive so it's really important for them to see and to hear Phil's story about you know I, I came here, I went to senior college, I started uni, I deferred but I'm going back, that there is an ongoing possibility. That's not a story that they're perhaps all that familiar with. I'm going to uni next year. Uni's fine. Mm. I went there for like a term. I've always wanted to help out the community as much as I could like with the kids and stuff because I know a lot of them go through a lot of struggles and me being through them myself I know how they feel and stuff so 
I think they really need that sort of support from someone. So I'm going to go to uni and study to become a youth worker. And I've always wanted to open my own youth centre in Madura for like the disadvantaged kids. So yeah, hopefully that all works out. Yeah, I was down in Melbourne not too long ago. I had to support um, the Young Warriors for their video launch. I'm going to Adelaide next month to support them because they're touring their album at the moment. So that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a really good performance. I mess up sometimes, but yeah, I'm going to practice a lot before then, so. Yeah, definitely. No, it'll be cool. Excellent. All right. <laughs> okay, thanks, Phil. I'll see you. Yeah. I'll see you. Yeah, you will. Not too long. Okay. The future for Phil is just, there's so many things he could do. He's always been interested in uh, being a mentor, a role model in working with youth. His music's always been really important to him and he's, it's clear he's got a lot of talent. I guess it's about the opportunities, some of it's good luck, some of it's hard work and um, hoping that, there's, that the two things coincide. You know, he could really do anything. So I just keep going, keep blowing, keep knowing I'm better than these losers. So I keep rolling and I won't stop till I reach the very top of the chart so they can take their best shot. But am I coming down? Hell no. Try to tell them sit back and enjoy the show. But that's just how it is. There will always be a hater. But you just got to push hard and deal with them later. Still got a long road ahead, but I love the adventures. Blood, sweat and tears. I don't need no stretches. Now can you hear me? Do you feel me flow? Now once again, here we go. I'm just saying hello.